Behind me is where Everton Football Club will be playing their football in two years time. They will be moving here in August 2024. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. This is Goodison Park, the home of Everton Football Club. They have been here since the 24th of August, 1892, but in a couple of years time, they will be moving to a brand new stadium. So Goodison Park has a capacity of 39,572. The distance from Anfield is just 0 0.9 miles. And Goodison Park has hosted more top flight games than any other stadium in England. Now, when they built Goodison Park, the construction cost was just £3,000. And the record attendance here uh, was back in 1948 when Everton played Liverpool, um, attended by 78,299 fans. So Everton Football Club have just two seasons left at Goodison Park, including this season. Their final um, season at this ground will be next season, the 23-24 season. And then in August 24, they will be moving grounds to a place just two miles away. So as I mentioned, Liverpool Stadium is just 0.9 miles away, just a short walk across Stanley Park. So as a Tottenham Hotspur fan, this is where I'm used to coming on a match day here, as an away fan. Everton history is actually plastered all over this stadium. So as I've mentioned, in just two years' time, in August 2024, Everton Football Club will be moving to the Bramley Moor Dock Stadium, their brand new home. The capacity will be 52,888. That is where I'm heading to now. So this is the first glimpse of Everton's new home. So you can see here, the stadium is going to be right next to the River Mersey. So the construction cost here will be an estimated £500 million. We are at the location at Bramley Moor Dock. Scheduled to open for the start of the 2024-2025 season.
and as I said earlier the capacity here will be 52,888 it could possibly go up to 62,000 if there is demand So right opposite the construction site here is a pub called the Bramley Moor established in 1758 So I've seen a number of Everton fans here this morning checking out the progress and rightly so it's an exciting time moving into a new ground so here at the new stadium they will actually have a one tier stand very similar to Dortmund and very similar to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Of course, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium South Stand holds 17,500 fans. This stadium, their stand will hold 13,000 fans. So as I mentioned a couple of times, the capacity here will be 52,888. 43,880 of those seats will be standard home seats. 5,334 will be premium seats. 448 will be box seats. And in the away section, 2,968 seats. The rest will be media. So this is probably the best view that we can get from the main street. Sadly, we can't walk around the ground. It's all boarded off. But from what I understand, if you do want a really, really good view, go on the River Mersey, take a boat trip, and you will get a fantastic view from there. But as I said, in two years time, Everton will be playing their first home game here. So the fantastic view of Everton's new stadium that I just got there was actually from one of the flats. Um, one of the people kindly let me in to have that glorious view of the new stadium. Um, everyone seemed very excited about the new build here. So the Everton fans will love this one because their home end, the one tier stand, uh, will actually hold more than the COP. The COP currently holds 12,409 and as I said earlier, their home end will hold 13,000 fans. So for those of you who watched my Tottenham Hotspur Stadium updates, I know what you want to hear. Yes, there are panels here and panels have been installed. But on a serious note, it's all about the steel structures at the moment.
So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and this visit to Everton's new stadium. Hopefully I'll be back in a couple of months time to see the progress.